So let's talk about the Fenton reaction. We have mentioned that before when we have talked about iron, iron absorption, iron studies, and also when we are talking about Wilson disease. So let's get started. So Fenton reaction applies to iron and can also apply to copper, okay? So, but mainly Fenton reaction is for iron, okay? Remember Fenton, Fe, Fenton, Fe. So, as you see here, the end result has hydroxyl free radical, hydroxyl free radical. This is the ferrous, this is the ferric. Okay, that's fine. Same thing with copper, we have the hydroxyl free radical. Okay, what's the big deal with hydroxyl free radical? It's very destructive. So here is the mnemonic Fenton reaction. I call it the F mnemonic. If Fe is left free, by Fenton reaction will give us hydroxyl free radical which is freaking bad if Fe is left free by the Fenton reaction give us hydroxyl free radical which is freaking bad this is the F mnemonic for the Fenton reaction remember iron mainly sometimes copper, hydroxyl free radical, what's the problem? It's destructive to tissue. So, see you next video. Please consider subscribing. Give it a like if you like it. And we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your life.